During the pandemic, one in three restaurants closed permanently, which put a lot of people out of work. But one young chef whipped his despair into a recipe for success. Gorilla Pies is the hottest new pizza place in North Hollywood. It's run by brothers Ben and Jake Osher, who make it feel like home. Rabbis up! They've covered the walls with their family history. An 88 Dodgers pennant, childhood toys and family photos celebrating their Jewish heritage. So this is our family approximately around 1920 in Toledo, Ohio. And this was a kind of a shout out to the Orthodox community. It's like, look, this is where we came from. It's not necessarily who we are now, but you know, all of our great uncles were kosher butchers in Ohio. Gorilla Pies is next to a kosher bakery and used to be a kosher pizza joint. So their welcome sign jokes, Osher, not kosher. All right. The most unique signature that I do is called the rabbi, which is uh, pastrami Reuben in pizza form, basically. All right, my first taste of the rabbi. Mm. Heaven. Now they sell out of their artisan pies every day. A huge success born of the pandemic. Um, just after Thanksgiving, uh, when I got laid off from my job at Mama Shelter, I just decided that it was time to do something for myself and something that made me happy. With international experience at restaurants like Nobu and Mama Shelter, he did a pop-up out of his apartment, but hit another roadblock. And people started commenting and talking and, and raving and raving and raving, except for one person. One, one person took issue with the fact that I was doing it out of my apartment. They reported me to the health department. And uh, yeah, so that was my, my signal that it was uh, time, you know, fun and games are over. It was time to, time to get a little bit more legit with the operation. Lucky for him, his brother Jake, a successful DJ and producer, was also out of work due to the pandemic. He normally travels the world DJing for massive crowds. Yeah. And even created the entrance song for the LA Chargers. Jake is an expert marketer and wanted a name inspired by their Pittsburgh roots, his brother's grit, and his smile. You know, we're like trying to come up with names and, you know, the idea of like an underground guerrilla like movement, like G U E R I, you know, that was like where we started at. And I was like, you know what, like, let's do Gorilla the Animal because it's just so much more of a fun, you know, marketable thing. Like the, the gorilla is kind of a, Reminiscent of this <laughs> gorilla as well. Born of brotherly love, a Pittsburgh style pizzeria with California soul. Two out of work brothers put their heads together and not only persevered, they thrived. It's absolutely been a series of things that could be seen as negative. Like if I didn't lose my job, I wouldn't have thought to do this, period. Like I wouldn't have taken the chance, I wouldn't have taken the leap. I probably would have been stayed in a relatively comfortable executive chef position and kind of, you know, just gotten by. Okay, so if you want to order grill pies, you want to call early because they always sell out every day. We have mm. all the info on our website, cpsla.com. You know, it's such a great story, and it's an example of my mom. She always tells me, thank God for closed doors. Mm -hmm. Because when doors closed, opportunities come. Isn't and you see wild? how they were both laid off, and now they're doing their own thing. But think about the hater also, how he was working out. <laughs> yeah. Somebody called the health Simple department. Can I tell you, <laughs> that's how pizza. I found him, was on Next Door. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. He worked at so many great restaurants. And then I saw people commenting, do you have a health permit? I'm like, uh-oh, uh, it's a pop-up. That's kind of- yeah, But did you try it before they forced oh, him to- yeah. Oh, yeah, even good, put it good, on Instagram. Good. I'm like, See, I could roll with you. I oh, yeah. could roll with you. Of course, yeah. because that's how pop-ups get around the health code. Yeah. You know, it's a pop-up. <laughs> there were so many pop-ups during the pandemic because a lot of out-of-work restaurants. Yeah, chefs yeah, and stuff were doing it from yeah. home. What a great story. Uh, Thank uh, an you. inspiring story for so many Very people, cool. too. Yeah, so many people, I'm sure, are working from home or not working or the great part of the great resignation. So, you know, if you have a dream, you know, maybe find somebody Keep close to you to help you and you can lean on each other. And again, welcome closed doors. Yes. Yeah, welcome. <laughs>